Hey guys, and welcome back to my next episode in this Design for Dummy series. And today we're going to be looking at alpha channels, which is a very useful uh, tip that took me quite a while uh, to discover actually. Uh, I've only been using alpha channels for the past uh, few months, and they have changed the way I design quite significantly. Um, so before I start, uh, to get your head around uh, alpha channels, I would like uh, for you to picture uh, when you were a kid and you had a piece of paper and you had these plastic stencils where you got pencils and you drew around the stencils and it created a shape. So it was basically blocking off an area so you could only uh, draw in the shape that you wanted. Now that's basically what alpha channels do. So I'm just going to bring this random image I've got in the background here. This is a design I've been doing for a client recently. Uh, so I've got this image at the top. I'm just going to put a black, uh, a red layer, sorry, underneath it, so we can, uh, so we can test this here. And what alpha channels do is they act like a stencil. So I'm going to select uh, an area here, and then just select a few areas, and then I'm going to apply the alpha channel to this, uh, to this image. So if we apply that there, you can then see that it is, uh, it has cut off the rest uh, of the image. Now that image hasn't gone. It is just a stencil. I can disable this alpha mask by either right clicking it and clicking disable or I can hold shift and click on the alpha mask to temporarily disable it. As you can see the image is still there so it hasn't destroyed uh, the content, it's it's what people refer to as non-destructive. Um, so I can then hide and show that again. Uh, now this is very useful for a series of things. Um, I'm going to go back to the design here so I can show you. Uh, now what I would like to do is um, go in here and we're going to play around with the webcam. So I'm just going to bring in another image, I uh, haven't prepared this actually, so let me just find one, that's my web server. Uh, okay, let's just bring in this line. So we've got a line here, I'm just going to resize it down to shape. And I'm just going to get it there roughly. There we go, so that isn't exactly right of course. Um, I'm just going to hide it, so I want it to fit in here. Now we could spend ages like turning the transparency down, using the marquee tool to cut off the edges and so on. Um, but I want to save some of the edge room uh, to fit into the shape that I want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to completely hide the layer temporarily and we're going to select uh, the area of which the webcam will be. So we're just going to scroll down from corner to corner now and I've got the area selected. And now I've got it selected, we're going to uh, apply this alpha channel to our, um, to our tiger. And as you can see it's now in the, in the uh, webcam box but it hasn't destroyed the image. Um, now there are several more things we can do with this. Let's bring in another tiger. Um, you're not restricted to doing square shapes or particular shapes with, uh, with uh, your alpha channels. You can do it with quite literally whatever you want. So without making a selection, I'm just gonna add an alpha channel to this layer and it hasn't done anything yet. Um, you can see that um, to the right of our preview image, our thumbnail, uh, on the layer that we applied it on, it's added a white layer. Uh, now if you imagine the white as the piece of paper that you're using in your stencil which you're, which you're allowed to draw on which, you're, which isn't being blocked, um, you can then select that layer. Uh, you can select a black colour, now you can use this with a paintbrush. Uh, I don't have to do it with the circle paintbrush, I could do it with a blood splatter. For example, I'm, I've got, again, I've got my, there, sorry, tongue twister. I've got a blood splatter brush here. Um, it's, I've made it black and I'm on the alpha channel layer. Now I can just start adding blood spatters here and it's just gonna take away from the image without destroying it. So then let me just move that around to show you that I haven't actually been destroying it. So you can see that there's the background is showing behind it. Yeah, if I disable the alpha channel, disable the alpha channel, it's, oh sorry, I'm transforming in a moment. It hasn't destroyed the image. Uh, so this is a very useful uh, tip when designing. Uh, it's something that I use quite a lot, and I hope it's of useful to you. Uh, so do leave a comment below if this was useful. Uh, leave a like uh, and suggest a new series uh, that you might want uh, me to cover next. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.